Captain, everybody. Ferg. You look very nice. Hey, that's my Twittery name you said. I know. Craigie Ferg. Do you have a Twittery name? Well, I, it's just my name. It's nothing funny like yours. It's just my that's regular funny name. What, Martha Plimpton? Yeah, it's funny it enough. A bit, it is a it's bit a funny. Bit funny. It's, <laughs> it suggests to me, and forgive me, but it suggests a kind of saucy kind of, oh, Martha Plimpton. <laughs> really? Yeah, sort of, you know, like racy. Well, not racy, more kind of like a dairy maid with large breasts. Oh. Here she comes, Martha Plimpton. You know, that's like that. much better than the skin disease that comes no. to my mind. No, skin diseases you're thinking of like herpes and stuff. Right. Oh, that, that's not a skin disease, though. That's a, well, let's not go into it. Yeah. You look nice. Thank you, look you. Nice. Thank you. Do you ever text when you drive? No. Okay. Certainly not. You have done, I can no, tell. No, I have no, not. You, yeah, no, I can no, tell. No, I have not. Yes, you have. Look, you're going like that. Look at the way. Yes, that's a tell. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Do you play poker? On occasion. <laughs> and when you play poker, do you look away when you see yeah. and do that? I've got nothing but tells when I play poker. I'm a terrible poker player. Do you ever go to Vegas and play poker? I don't play poker in Vegas because they're too good there. Oh. I play poker with other women in my house where no one can laugh at us and we can ask the rules as much as we want. That's fine. That's yeah. a good way to do it. Yeah. And, and so you don't uh, have crystal meth then? You know, to stay up for hours at a time playing it, it's just like the well, girl. Well, I mean, Oh, you do? Yes. You do? You know, you do. Obviously. Well, that seems fine. Yeah. How, how are they treating you over at Fox? Is everything going okay? They're delightful. Yeah, they're, they're treating me they're fairly well. Fair, really? Yes, very well. Yeah? They've given me a job. I mean, that's I, you funny. Know what? That's, uh, I that's a say, lot. I complain about this job, but it is a job. Yes. And uh, that, you know, a lot of Americans don't have jobs. It seems so. like a swell job, too. It's not bad. It's not yeah, bad. We you know, it's fine. We're fine. You, you know, you're right. We're just fine. <laughs> well, you, you're doing good. Well, I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from New York. But really? I wanted to tell you that you I... You Giants fan? I don't care about football. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> It's great and everything. Football's great. Sure, sure. But, yeah. you know, what I'm were you going to tell me? Fan. I'm a baseball fan. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, no, I was going to tell you, I have, uh, I have dead relatives in Crathy, Scotland. <laughs> well, I don't know who clipped I mean, them, so I don't know what you're saying. I I mean, uh, uh, you mean ancestors? Or, yes, yes, oh. yes, ancestors. That's what they are. They're right. not dead relatives. They're ancestors. Well, yes, that's, yes, what, yes, that's, yes. What, that's what an ancestor yes. is. It's a mm -hmm. dead, a dead yeah, relative, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, so that's where my whole. Uh, that's where we're from. Scotland. Yeah. So. I'm a Campbell. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. No, 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 no. Campbells are fine. Well, you know. Campbells are fine. Except unless for all you're a McDonald. That's, that's right. the thing. That's the Campbells thing. and McDonald's, the Hatfields and McCoys, but that's all a long time ago. Scotland's moved on from all of that. Right, that's, that's not true. part of it anymore. It's all jetpacks and laser beams. They now. still have. <laughs> they still have. <clears throat> I know a guy who lives with sheep still there, so it's not that changed. Now, but... when you say. When you say. <laughs> When you say lives with sheep. Well, he's a shepherd. But well, that's part of the job. <laughs> but he lets the sheep in the house. They crawl in the furniture and, you know, he really loves sheep. Sheep don't crawl. How dare you? <laughs> sheep gamble. They, they, okay, so they gamble over the They furniture. gamble on his furniture? Yeah. Do you have any sheep? No, I'd love one, though. They're, they're, they're adorable. They're so sweet. Are well, you know, they're nice apart from a couple of things. They're very big, kind of weird eyes. And they're dumb. They're very dumb. They've got big, square, yellow teeth. Mm. And their bottoms, ooh. No, nah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can imagine what his couch looked like. I see where you're going. Yeah. And where you're going is nowhere I want to be. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Uh, do I do have a dog. Really? Yeah. And uh, I hear you have how a dog. How tall is it? She, how tall is uh, she? How tall is your dog? I would guess she's in the neighborhood of about 30 inches tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've decided my new thing. Do, are you going to make her a suit or no, something? No, no. What do you want to do? No, no. 
I've decided my new thing. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> no, my new thing is I've decided to treat each uh, celebrity appearance like I'm gathering information for a trial. Oh. All right. So. It really puts them at ease. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so your dog's 30 inches tall. I believe so. Right. Mm. <laughs> Would you know 30 inches if you saw it? <laughs> I'm saying, and this is a follow-up question, if you'll allow it. Will you allow it? Yes, you will. Uh, are you a good, accurate judge of size using only your eyes, or do you have to use some kind of measuring equipment? I'm pretty good with my eyes. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. What would you like? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or big cash prize? I think I have to go for the big cash prize. Oh, great! What time is it, John Damon? It's time for the big cash prize! All right, here we go. Big cash prize. 50 American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Oh. Left over from Mark Harmon, who said, are you kidding? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm taking the money. Yeah, oh, well, listen, I would take... You, you would never care about parking again. You pour this into a cup holder in your car and park anywhere you -la -la. like for the rest of your life. <laughs> All right, you ready? I am Two ready. needs to win. You can either uh, answer the question or guess what's in my box. I don't know what's in the box. I imagine the box. I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to answer the question. Okay. <clears throat> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Of course. I knew that. So did I. <laughs> Which of these three animals is widely considered the most vicious creature in Africa and Asia? Is it A, the leopard or leopard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it B, the lion, or lion? <laughs> or is it C, the honey badger, or... Oh, I know this. Oh. <laughs> and? Well, I don't think there's a lot of lions in Asia, are there? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Old friends. Um, um, you. Um, and I don't think it's the leopard because there are not a ton of leopards in Asia. But honey badgers are all over the place. And they're extremely vicious. Oh my God. Please welcome the lovely Martha Plimpton, everybody. We moved house. What do you think? It's I all love right. it, and I'm so excited to be here on Jeff Arnold night. Yeah, Jeff Arnold night. We celebrate the work of Jeff Arnold. It's, it's one of the it's greatest. It's thrilling. It's like a special evening. It is. It's a special evening for us. We celebrate Jeff's 50th birthday by sending him to a restaurant on his own. <laughs> What's happening in the show this year? Does somebody, oh, somebody die? Oh, you know, I'm always getting into trouble with this. I said, well, first of all, the show's going great. Thanks for it. Oh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's my favorite show. <laughs> thank you, friend. And thank you for saying that. It's my favorite show. That I, and uh, the uh, other show, that Michael, the, the, the Dexter. The Dexter, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are my two shows. Yeah. These are my two shows. Um, but uh, I did this crazy thing where I suggested to my bosses over at that other network where I do the show. Fox? Yeah, them. Uh, I said... I suggested to them that we have a contest and that I will fly anywhere in the country because, you know, I, I play a housekeeper on the show. Sure I do. I never miss an episode. I'm not a professional house cleaner in real life. But I play one on the show. Right. And I said, well, I will fly anywhere and clean our biggest fan's house. You're out of your mind. I know. <laughs> I'm crazy. You, it'll be a hoarder. It'll be I a know. hoarder. I know. A cat collector oh. or a crime scene. Do you, ever, do you ever watch that hoarder show? Of course I did. Did you notice our hands it? touched there? I, like, they did, I know. They did, yeah. oh. I was like, oh, oh. oh, I was like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, I. Do you watch the hoarder show? Of course I do. I, I watched one episode where there was a woman who had a collect the the emergency hoarder squad had come in right. and. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were getting rid of all this women's Just stuff. And she said, I have to keep some of this stuff because uh -huh. it, there are these handbags here. I'm saving them for my sister. Right. Or and they or they have like a long thing about why they have like 18 mummified cats. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and they have to save each one of them. For their sister. For their uh, sister. But the thing was, she was saving all these handbags for her sister, and her husband was there, and he said, he said, uh, we've been together since 1985. You don't have a sister. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And then she said, that's because you had an affair with her. And, that, and, and he's, this is true. I watched this and I'm like, wow, man, I'm starting to feel as sane as anything watching this. <laughs> I think that's why people watch it. Yeah, well, no doubt. I mean, I had a, I dated a guy once who thought I was a hoarder, but I don't come anywhere you, near that. You, what do you collect? Well, I don't really collect anything. I just you save some never, things for your sister. I've never moved. I don't have a sister. Oh, I do have a sister, but I don't save things for her. Wait a minute, you forgot you had a sister. Well, for a it's a whole thing. All right, okay. Um, um, no, I do have a sister. I have a half sister. Oh no, that's um, an old-fashioned way. We just say sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. My sister. She's my sister. But. Uh, no, I, it's not that I collect things, it's just that I've never moved. Ever. Ever? Never. Where do you live? I mean, not exact street, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's Dexter night, so, you know. Uh, but I live in New York. I live in the same apartment I grew up in. You're kidding me. No. That's fantastic. Isn't that wild? How did you get your parents out? Well, my mother was <laughs> my mother was delighted to leave. Really? Yeah. That's a oh rent control. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Well, it's not quite control. It's not quite controlled. No. That's all I'm saying. Uh, all Greg. right, all right. No, that's no, no, great no. though. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, fantastic. it's not, but it means you know when you move you cull. Well, how do you how do you know you never not, moved? Right, exactly. Well, but you, I've never had to move, so I've never really culled. Call such a wrong word to use tonight. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just all the killing, the Dexter, <laughs> the... No, you know how it is. Like, yeah, I know you clear stuff out the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, you just go, do I really need this paper I wrote in second grade about Adam Green all that stuff? Or I don't have all of it. No, I mean, I'm not insane is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not like the... <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> little bit, maybe a little no, bit. No, no, I'm not these cat mummy collectors, no way. Oh, wait, wait, what if you go to clean this person's house, the biggest fan of the show, and right. they've got, you know, then they're hoarders. What no, 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 it, listen, I said no crime scenes, no cat collectors, no hoarders, period. <laughs> period. Well, it's not, it's they not like this. They tidy up before we get there. Ah, I see now. <laughs> So you're doing a bringing, celebrity clean-up. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to really clean. Well, but if I'm going to tidy up before you get... With us. What? We're bringing cameras with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'd have So to. if they don't want to be embarrassed by whatever we find in their sheets, but I am going to be... <laughs> I am going to be handling their... <clears throat> you know, their business. <laughs> saying thank you to well, wait, wait, our wait, loyal wait. Listen, I, I, Look, I, anyone that handles my business, I always say thank you, but I... <laughs> As well you should. That's very polite. No, no, I'm, I'm nothing if not polite. That's uh, very polite. But I, I... But... Yes? Is that part of cleaning, handling someone's business? Of course it is. <laughs> cleaning houses is an extremely difficult job. I know you, that. I know that. I'm not you, saying you know, that. You touch... Well, what kind of business are you talking about? <laughs> Well, I think that's I mean, probably the problem is, because you know, I'm thinking business is kind of like, you know, fruit shopping, if you know what right. I mean. Yeah. I do know what you mean. Right, right. I've done it many times. Fruit shopping? Sure. <laughs> Did you do it in New York? <laughs> Everywhere. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Je ah. Jeff has been fruit shopping in Cleveland. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. How did you get to Cleveland there, Jeff? Took the uh, train. Took the train? What kind of a train was yeah, it? It was a steam engine. Steam train, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's just a little thing we do. I get it. Yeah, yeah, no. So, uh, did you find out where you're going to go yet? Or not no? yet, yeah. not yet. No, no, no. We just told people about the contest, so now we're gonna, we got to pick the winner. Right. How did, what's the criteria for being the biggest fan of the show? Uh, I don't know. They have to send us a video or a, a, an awkward family photo or something like that. I, I Isn't this America's the... Funniest Home Videos? No, this no, is America's no. Funniest Home Videos. No, no, no. They have to sort of tell us how they're similar to our family on the show, I think. All that right. wasn't really my area. My area was just to pitch the idea that whoever wins, I will come and clean their house. Yeah, you don't. You shouldn't pitch ideas like that to the network. Why? <laughs> because they'll make you do it. But it's fun! It is? Yeah. You Why travel not? well? You're quite happy to travel? Sure. And cleaning's okay with you? Sure. What if the winner's in Paris, Craig? What if the winner's in Paris? Yeah. Last time we were in Paris, everyone, the whole city shuts down for raising hope. That's true. <laughs> 
They're like, we would like to help you with the baguette, Paris, but Texas. it is resin hop night. <laughs> we got to go watch this. Oh, that family is so unconventional. Paris, Texas, maybe? Paris, Texas. I've never been there. You ever been there? Yes, I've driven through. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. It'd be fun to go there. Yeah, I've never been there either. Detroit. I've I've been love there. To go there. I like Detroit. Yeah, why not? Yeah, no. They, they, if you start cleaning up there, though, <laughs> it's a long job. Yeah, we're gonna be there That's for a, a while. Job. It's a nice time, though. People are lovely. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's a big, beautiful country. I want to see all of it. Well, you should get out there. You don't have to clean it all up. Well, in one house at a time. Well, all we right. all have to do our part. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we're out of time. Do you fancy uh, cleaning up before you leave? Sure, absolutely. Uh, no, or sure do you want some sponges? fruit? Oh, I'll take some fruit. Sure. Yeah? Sure, why not? All right. I got some here. Ooh, is that... Is that a jicama? <laughs> no, I just fell. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wow. shirt's tight. Uh, where's the, the, this is a this exotic fruit. Oh, yes, listen, when we go fruit shopping, we really go fruit shopping. This, you, is, this is very um, helpfully labeled, a chinoya. Yeah, that's... I've never had one of those. I think what you do with them is you steam them. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, that, this, this is dragon fruit. Oh, sure, dragon fruit. What yeah. is that? Have you ever had that? Yeah, it's kind of pink on the inside as well as the outside. Isn't it? <laughs> Weird uh, this color. is a pepino. Oh, it's a pepino. Yes. I've never seen that before. Have you never heard, gentlemen? Please welcome pepino. You never saw that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It, it feels a little bit like a. Uh... May I? Yes, you may. Mm. Can I it's watch like it? A... <laughs> it's like an it's like an unripe plum. <laughs> That's enough of that. All right, so what are you going to take? Come on, you get one. Well, oh, do I? Mm. Well, may I have the jicama? That's the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean... Is that a fruit, though? It's a... Is it a fruit it or is it be a leg, root? It may be a legume. No. It's a... It's a root. It's a root. <laughs> so you, you, you fancy a root then, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you are. Well, thank That'll you. That'll do for now. You can share that with your biggest fan. Thank you. Thank you. Part of the bluff to everybody. Enthusiasm. You look great. You look saucy. You look sexy. You look like you're going somewhere more exciting than where you are right now. Well, gee whiz, thank you. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. This is all for you. Really? All of it. I accept. You look great. Thank you so I mean, much. Really, really. How you, you, look, you look rather good yeah, for being yeah. so ill. Yeah, a bit, a bit sinusy. Uh, I'm getting over something myself, so I, I sympathize. A failed relationship? Uh. <laughs> Oh, did I hit no, a No, I don't want to talk about that here. Oh, gosh. Um, no, no, no. Some type of, you know, chestular, coffular. Chestular? Whatever. Yeah, I, 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 was there a lot of snot involved? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yes. And aching and everything, you know. Yes, yes. So what do you, you've got like a bird flu or what? I don't think it's bird flu. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's two sinus infections. It's, uh, oh, one, fun. One viral, one bacterial. Oh, that's awesome. I know. You really get things done. I get it done. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. I like to go all the way. All the way to the edge. Good for you. Yes, I know. How are you doing? How's the show? The show's doing great, isn't it? The show it? is doing yeah. great. I love the show. I'm happy at the show. Uh oh, Our does that mean you're going to leave? No. Why well, it's would just I do that? well. It just sounds like you know, you know, when you see uh, celebrity couples do an at-home piece, and you go, "Oh, divorce is coming." No, yeah. no, I love it. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life. Oh, really? I'm so sad. Uh, what? Well, I feel like you're now the the, the show. You're going to leave and go somewhere else. No, it's not true. <laughs> 
It's Sorry. not true. I'm just being a... Ooh la la! That's... Uh, I can't help it. It's the medication. That's fine. I understand. Did you take medication when you had your thing? Well, I was working the whole time, so I took a little bit. I took a little, you know, a thing to, you know, clear out the passages, but nothing... Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little crystal meth and a hot bath. Sure. Yeah, why not? Why not? How have you been? I like, what's the ribbon on your, uh, your, uh, This ribbon, dress? this is my A. This is my scarlet letter. I wear this, um, for... In have you committed adultery in some way? <laughs> I wear this in recognition of women's reproductive rights. Oh, good. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah, and it's the, it's the name of the charity that I helped uh, start called A is Four. Oh, nice. Yeah. You started your own charity? Yeah, with you're a, a bunch big of time, friends. You're with, a big-time mover and shaker in Hollywood. With some friends of mine. You know, was it, it was a bunch of us. Yeah, yeah. about ten of us, yeah. We had a big benefit on Sunday night. Was really? Awesome. What do you have, like a, like a, a show and stand-ups yeah, and everything? Yeah, we had a big comedy I'm show. I'm sorry I couldn't make it, but I wasn't invited, <laughs> Martha. So... Next time. What was it? What did you do? Consider this an invitation. All right. It was called A Night of a Thousand Vaginas. <laughs> and we had... I haven't had one of those since the 80s. Uh. We had Sarah Silverman and Zach Galifianakis. They've and... both got vaginas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Josh Homme from Queens of the Stone Age. And we had wow. aging Jed Kirkman. And what the Retta heck? was there and what? she did... Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, this was Were you there, huge, Jeff? Oh, yeah, I was there, yeah. What the hell? Yep. Were you there? <laughs> Why wasn't I invited, Martha? Am I not cool? No, it's, it's not that you weren't invited. It's that, um... It was full? It's, it's that it was full. <laughs> of cool people? Yeah. No, no, no. No, we have cool... You, Where did you, you have it? You, we had it at Largo here on I La see, I don't, I don't go there anymore. You don't? Since, just, since you, uh, just since now. Oh, no! <laughs> You're hosting the next one. Oh, okay. What do you uh, think of that? I, I think there's not a chance in hell. Oh, come on! No, I don't do hosting. I did it once. I did what? the People's Choice Award. What's I was this? like, mm, this is... What is this? It's, it's like me, an appliance, <laughs> a part of my horse, some candy and some old hobos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You come to the next one. Yeah, no, I will come to the next one. Yes. That, that Largo, that's where, that's where the cool kids go, actually. Yes, I yeah, think no, it's so. It's very cool. Yes. Were you cool when you were, were you always cool? No, like, I, was not, I was not cool. I am still not cool. No, I think you're pretty cool. There's Your name nothing cool sounds cool. You sound to me like someone who would be on Downton Abbey. Oh, that's funny that you should say that. Is it? Well, <laughs> guess who's guest starring on our show this week well, we're that we're filming right now? What, who? Mrs. Pat Moore. From Downton Abbey? Yes. How the hell did you manage that? Pfft, you we're called? awesome. Yeah. Was, was she at your cool benefit? Huh? Was she at your cool benefit? She wasn't at our cool benefit. Nah, no. she's probably too cool. No, no, no. She's, she's too on cool. Downton Abbey. That's yeah. the big show. You do watch it then? Oh, yeah, I watch I stopped it. after the first season. Why? It's a uh, total guilty pleasure. It's gotten so much more juicy. I know, but I, I got kind of... I really liked the first season, and then when that Turkish gentleman died in her bed... Oh, yeah? I was like, there was nothing wrong with him. And they kind of lost me then. Like, usually if someone's going to die unexpectedly in a, in a TV show or a movie or something, earlier on they'll go, <coughs> and someone will say, what's wrong? And they'll go, nothing. Uh, and, and then they die later. But this guy, nothing. Not a thing. Not even a, <coughs> but nothing. I know. And, then, and he was like 25, and then boom, dead. I know. And then they killed off one of the, well, I don't want to spoil it for you. They killed off one of their main characters very suddenly in a car wreck. Well, I saw that one, even although I no longer watch it, and it yeah. made me furious. <laughs> Because he's just, he's come from the hospital, his wife's just had the baby, finally they've got together, and, and then he dies? Who the hell do you think you are? But let me tell you something, it's ended up resulting in a very feminist storyline that I'm very much enjoying. Oh yeah, that's what I watched Downton Abbey for, About feminism. Lady Mary, Lady Mary's gonna run the Downton Abbey. Oh yes, yeah, that's right, it becomes uh, about hereditary yeah. business, yes. Yeah, it becomes about all about how women weren't allowed to, and are they now allowed to inherit? Uh, estates now? Yeah, well, there's a, a lady called the Queen in England who I, who I believe no, inherited I mean, the title. You know, the gentry, the people, oh, yeah. landed gentry, I they don't, don't know do how that. It, I don't know how it works. This may come as a surprise to you. I'm not actually from that socioeconomic I know, group. But I know, uh, I know. Have you ever been over there? Sure, yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you like it? I do, I love it. Really? Yeah. What do you like about We've it? We've talked about this. Really? I'm, I'm Scots. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm a Campbell. I, well, you're, you're a Plimpton. Well, but I'm a Campbell. I'm both, both my mother's father and her mother were both Campbells. They were related? <laughs> That's how they do it. <laughs> Up there. I know. Yeah. I'm from there. <laughs> Have you done other parts of Europe? Have you wandered around there a bit? Very much so. Really? Yeah. Where, what's your favorite bit? Well, uh, let's see. I, I went with my mother to Paris for Christmas and oh, New Year's last beautiful. year, and that was really beautiful. What a place. Is that your first time? It was amazing. Time? No, I'd been, but I was like 11 years old, so it'd been a long time. Right. And we rented an apartment, and it was really just Ooh. spectacular. It was a great mother-daughter trip. I loved it. That's nice. It was really nice. Right. And then what? Um, the year before that, or a couple years before that, I was in Prague. Well, I love Prague. I've it's never like a been to Prague. Beautiful, scary sort of fairy tale city. It's very. Does Dracula live there now? No, that's the other one. That's he's in uh, Frankenstein. No, no. The Wolfman. No. They Larry have King. The, Larry they King. Have the Mala. What? No. Wow. What do they have in Prague? The Mala. The comes from Prague. The Moloch? Yeah, the Moloch of Jewish lore. Really? The beast, yeah. I didn't know I didn't know that. Yeah. He comes from That's it's from frightened Prague. me a bit when you did that. Do That's it again. The Moloch. Oh my lord. Yeah. I sometimes forget because you're a nice chatty lady <laughs> that you're such a good actor. Oh well thank you. Well, you know. That's awfully nice of you well, to when say. When you do the, the Moloch thing, I was like, ooh. I didn't even feel that was some of my best work. I mean, I, I felt like I kind of was kind of half-assed about it. Best I've ever seen you. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Screw off. Oh, right. come on. No, I'm kidding you. No, it's fine. We have to take a break, though. Okay.
Well, we said night of a thousand vaginas. We said night of a thousand vaginas, but yeah. yeah. But vaginas not. But we're, we're back sorry. though. We're, oh, oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> the um, so vaginas then. Uh, <laughs> it's I, so funny how uncomfortable so many people are with vaginas. <laughs> You know, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Not because with the actual vagina, but with the word is very uncomfortable. People for a lot get of people. upset about that word. They yeah, they really do. Get they do. About yeah. it. And I feel bad about it because. Well, the other words right. they don't even let you say. I know. I mean, I've tried to say, is there any word at all that I could say that is. So I can only use the medical word for that body part. I can't see any other word. So, for example, if I said, what if I made one up? What if I made one up? I can make one up. Go ahead. All right, then. So. What about, uh, well, what word would you make up for well, You that? know what, I wouldn't make up a word because I'm tired of people making up words. I like the actual word and I'm very proud of it. I think it's a beautiful word. You don't even word, like the I word like Cassandra? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a woman I... called Cassandra in the audience. <laughs> what a person chooses to call their uh, personal area? organs and areas is entirely up to them. I call mine Conquistador. <laughs> And let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. He doesn't always drink beer. <laughs> but when he does, it's vagina. Okay. Woo! How are they treating you over at Fox? Are they all right there? They're great to me Fox over are nice there. To you? Yeah, yeah, they are nice to me over there. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. They got um, a late night show over there? Uh, do they? Don't think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm generally, I, you're the only show, you're the only late night show that I DVR and watch. But I don't see any other late night show. You're, you're also, you're also the only late night show that I've been on. Really? That, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. no, I don't, I don't um, think of this show as a late night show, really. I guess not, right? Not really. Yeah. I mean, it kind of is a bit, I mean, we've got the skeleton and the talking rhinoceros. Right. And the, and the horse. And but if other that's than not that, this, yeah. it's completely different to yeah. every other show. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Oh, geez, already? Yeah, rusty trombone? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you sure? Oh, wow, okay. Martha Blipton, everybody. We'll be right back. Been in jail? I think you got a bit of a jailhouse vibe. Have you ever been in jail? Yeah. Well, a little bit. A couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. And like, if we were in jail together, I'd be your friend. If we were in jail together, you'd be my wife. But here's what I want to say to you. Here's what I say to you. Here's what I say to you. But in the most loving way possible. Yes, right. <laughs>